Praise the Lord, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Minister Paula, my beautiful, extra beautiful today, wife, Gail. Good morning. Well, windy morning here. Super windy. It blew up with our shutters. Ooh. Oh, is that what that bang was? Yeah. I was already out here doing all kinds of yeah, things. I know. You were early bird today. <laughs> it is super windy. I'm going to say that's got to be above 20 mile, above 25 mile an hour, what we're seeing, you know, when it really starts going. Yeah, we always get real windy here, but it's it's windy again. It's scary it's for like California because that's not good for the fire. fires. That's right. We give all praise and glory and honor to Jesus Christ. We don't want to fake it with you, Jesus. Could I open up a prayer this morning, Saints, yes. to the one who sits on the throne? Father God, we love you. We worship you. We praise you in the storm. We praise you in the wind. We know that you are in the wind. Yes. You're that still small voice that speaks to us. We love your holy word. We love how it says you will never leave us or forsake us and how we're justified and, and glorified through this holy, amazing, born again experience, Lord, to to enter into eternal life through what Jesus Christ did on the cross for us. We love you. We praise you. We are the fruit that Jesus Christ produced when he was planted into this ground for our sins and took that punishment. Lest anyone should say we ever deny the blood of Jesus. It's the very reason why I'm even alive today. Let my, let my wife my life, my marriage, this ministry forever be a testimony of your mercy and grace from the blood you shed on the cross of Calvary for us, Jesus. Don't let anybody ever try to take that witness from us, Jesus. We're still standing in you, God. We love you, God. I thank you for your presence. I just want to stay in your presence. I have so many things to ward, Lord God, and I see the sword coming, Lord, but just to be in your presence, to be in your presence. If your people could just feel your presence today and enter in your presence, we long for your presence, God. We need your presence, God. We thank you, Father, as we receive your presence. For anybody listening to this within the sound of my voice who has not received Jesus Christ as your Savior, he is at the door. He's coming. All the things he warned about throughout the whole entire Bible are coming to pass quickly and suddenly. And it says when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes. Give your life to Jesus Christ now. You know not what could happen today. Give your life to Jesus Christ while we still have this door of grace open. Amen. So let me show you, whew, the Holy Spirit hit me strong. I needed that. So let me show you this breaking news that's popped out. Here's the date and time, 8.01 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Cyber attack forces a shutdown of a top U.S. pipeline operator. So are they going to blame this on Russia? This is breaking. This is the source I found here. It's been shared 35,000 times and viewed a hundred times so it says a cyber attack forced the shutdown of what did one of the largest pipelines in the united states and what appeared to be a significant attempt oh you know what i see here it's got to be one of those seven states that i went and warned of watch <coughs> the pipeline carries refined gasoline and jet fuel up the east coast from texas to new york who who how many people here say $5 an hour gas prices? Plus, we know Olinden has also uh, stopped the uh, stopped uh, work on the Keystone Pipeline, right? It's all about justifying why they have to charge so much for oil and gas because it's summer, you see? So uh, what's going to be interesting on this story is who they're going to blame for it. In a statement, the company said it learned on Friday that it was a victim of cybersecurity attack and has provided no details. 
Such an attack can involve malware that shut down its operations or ransomware demanding payment to unlock computer files or systems. So we're going to watch this and so oh, it mentions solar winds intrusion already mentioned Russia. So here we go. It's just is another way for them to start war and raise prices on it. They've written so many executive orders. They've written so the the Olaid administration has written so many checks. They have no money to 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 stand behind them. Their money's no good. The checks the USA is writing is no good. It's being written on people's oil and people's lives over in the Middle East and stuff. It is just sad. I don't know why the Holy Spirit showed me. Take heed, no bad deceives you. And it mentions the Olaid administration right now about sanctions against Russia. So you see what they're insinuating and implying here. Here's another thing. This is coming out of uh, Israel. Breaking news. It says new protests called after Jerusalem clash wound over 200. And then I want to show you this story down here too. At least 25 killed in Kabul after bomb explodes near a school. So Kabul is in Afghanistan. I believe it's the capital. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. If it's not the capital. But it's in Afghanistan. And remember what happened on 5-1 May Day Beltane? Biden began withdrawing troops from Afghanistan. While semi-declaring war on Russia why another war breaks out in China and and yesterday it was also announced China is building a new naval base there a new China is building a brand new naval base for defense and offense right there in that disputed area and everybody knows what I'm talking about so this this article says right here Israel braced for more, more protests Saturday after clashes at Jerusalem's flashpoint, El Ask Mosque compound wounded more than 200 people. And as the U.S., E.U., and regional powers urged calm after days of escalating violence. In the unrest following Muslim prayers Friday, Israeli riot police fired rubber bullets and stun grenades at Palestinians who hurled rocks, bottles, and fireworks. So... Uh, at officers at Islam's third holiest site. I was wondering where this was going down at because remember the, was it Mount Huron? Was that the one where the, how many people died? Hebron? Is this a, a fall fallout for this? or So this is saying that it's here that it happened. Al Ask Mosque. It is the third holiest site in Sunni Islam and is also regarded as the holy site, holiest site in the world by Judaism. So, so to, uh, in Judaism, it's the number one holy site. And in Islam, it's the third holiest site. Isn't that interesting? Are they serving a different God? And, and here's the thing. It's about bloodlines. Here, here's the thing about this. Thank you, Jesus. It's what the Pope, thank you, Holy Spirit. The, the, the Holy Spirit just reminded me right now is the final day, Saturday. Look at the, the timing of all of this, of the, the FP and Fauci. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what do, how do I say it? We're on YouTube, you know? Yeah. So the FP and the Fauci, you know what I mean, are, are ending their three-day conference out of Rome mm -hmm. so still standing still watching I want to show you our website here's the website and uh, so we can now upload videos directly here as storage and discuss other things that'll be in the video section uh, want to also remind people of our church tomorrow starts an hour early 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time There'll be a link to it in the description box. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Walk in victory. 
ignore those condemnation thoughts the enemy puts in your head and know who you are in Christ Jesus and whom the Son has set free is free indeed.